Hello everyone. Today I'll be reviewing a pen from Twisby. This pen is uh, fully loaded with features and uh, is already lock, stock and barrel to get to work. Right from the naming of this pen, the whole philosophy around it I found uh, means functionality and business and what it means is talking less and doing more. So that is what you'll find in this review. Um, if we start with the case, the case is very minimalistic and you have the usual Twisby armamentarium that is packed with it. So there I open and what you find there is a small foam in which the pen is nestled and it does come with a small package insert which tells you about this. This is made up of plastic and this is a cardboard sleeve with it. Putting it aside. The pen is made up of a very sturdy plastic. It has a good reassuring weight, does not feel cheap at all. It can take a good amount of beating, drops and uh, brushes against your coins and keys within your pocket and doesn't really show signs of cracking under pressure. It is a snap cap and uh, if you come to the pen, you have a Twisby uh, logo on the top um, in, the red, under the, in the red background. And then you have a small uh, inscription there which mentions Go, Twisby Go. So this is the only branding which you find on the pen apart from the logo there. It has a small uh, eye to attach uh, uh, the hook uh, and on which you can attach your neck band and you can carry it to work as I usually tend to do. So I just hook it around there and I carry it around uh, my neck when I'm there in my operating scrubs or in my work dress. Uh, if you are not putting this hook there, this will probably act as a roll stop as well and will prevent sliding off the table. Then this opens up with a bit of effort, uh, which I feel is good because uh, it is assuring, reassuring that it will not open up while uh, hanging around your neck or in your pockets. So if we open up, you find the writing section. This is uh, good to hold. It is long and tapering, which I like. Um, the stubs which are which are there for uh, capping the pen if I can make yeah these stubs are also conveniently placed because they don't come in the way of the grip so it's very conveniently placed this one comes in the center and the ones on the side uh, keep your grip steady now uh, the nib size of this pen is uh, uh, smaller than the usual this is number five uh, though it is small but because of the writing section and the whole proportion of the pen it doesn't uh, feel diminutive or small at all uh, it's good to hold although number five is not my preference but on this pen i find it uh, sported pretty well uh, the nib is steel nib uh, this one is probably fine but i couldn't find it inscribed anywhere and you can find the twisby logo and a bit of scroll work there it has been tuned as per liking from twisby which has a good amount of feedback and a decent wetness with it um, the barrel of the pen uh, comes in different colors. This one is smoky black and it is uh, translucent. So this, the ink sloshing within it can be seen conveniently. You can see that there, part of the writing section in the barrel. So it does uh, have that kind of ink uh, window effect with it. So if we open, we find the filling mechanism. It is a spring loaded plunger, which I said uh, the pen again uh, reeks of uh, business uh, right from the word uh, uh, go uh, the name of the pen and it's very convenient to fill and convenient to clean uh, if I am able to show you is the ink which I have put it in this is uh, RO soda Robert Oster soda, soda water blue soda pop blue so the plunger mechanism is there and you can simply press to empty the pen and a couple of Plunges down will help you fill it as well. Then I am done with the job, and it's inconveniently to clean the pen also after you've emptied. It has a very good ink capacity, so it will last you quite a few days with your work. Easy to clean, as I said. Size comparisons uh, with the proportion, though it may seem to be a small pen, but by no means it is small as comparison to a Lamy Safari which seems to be the standard size going on just a couple of millimeters shorter than that and again the size you can see that the girth of the barrel uh, of the body of the pen is not very small 
the nip size overall does seem small okay so now i'll come to the writing part okay so writing with the pen the ink is as i said robert oster this is a soda pop blue pretty decent wet flowing ink although the color does not pop out of the paper as much as i have seen it being put on instagram pictures they are quite deceptive no So as you can see the nib performs uh, very well it has a wetness which is on slightly higher side the feedback is good this is a fine nib and it does pack a very good balance between feedback and uh, smoothness very comfortable to write with not a very good reverse writer and i don't prefer to flex as well so if i have to summarize uh, my opinion about this pen i would say that uh, this is this is very crisp it is it is a feature loaded pen but uh, it's still very functional and all the features uh, speak only one thing one purpose to do to do the job without uh, with, without frills um, you know we've been working with uh, very minimalistic armamentarium being healthcare workers with taking care of uh, sanitization and our own sanity and the pen has been by my side uh, faithfully for a lot of uh, last few weeks and even before that uh, if i have to say this would probably crack the top 3 in my favorite functional pens uh, really like it the cost of it uh, is about uh, 2000 or 2100 indian indian rupees which i feel which i feel is a very good price for this pen um, so i hope you like this video and uh, see you very soon